I hate TB Omicrons. Well, maybe hate is too strong of a word, but I severely dislike them and discourage their use in general because I feel like it's a game mode that doesn't need Omicrons. You don't need them, they're just a nice little bit of juicy extra kick in your backside that lets you finish things off just that little bit easier. You may have noticed potentially I'm a little over invested when it comes to a particular member of the Bad Batch, the so-called single target high single fire damage target individual nuking individual that is Justin Bieber as a child. Now, you can't see it right now, but it's there, believe me. The level of relic investments I have on this girl is just... It's just... It's not right. Perhaps... Perhaps it's a war crime, but Relic 9 Omega is a little too much. Now, I did this for very good reasons, guys. It's because it was a sub goal who was part of the community, okay? If you want to join part of that, go follow me on Twitch and on YouTube live streams and all that good business, and you can tell me who next to do. By the way, the next one's Shore Trooper. But anyway, I was forced, considering I have a Relic 9 Omega, to put this Omicron on. Her Omicron, part of the squad, she desperately wants to be a part of the squad, has been in the game for quite some time, and it's really not an Omicron that would put, because it's territory battles and who cares? But what does the Omicron actually do? Well, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Essentially, at the start of battle, all your Bad Batch allies are going to lose all of their protection. She's gonna disappear, Psst, gone. 100% of their protection disappears, but they're essentially going to get 10% additional max health per relic level that they have. So if they're relic 5, they'll gain 50% max health. And that makes up completely for having lost all of your protection, right? Not really. Not really. So more relic levels on the Bad Batch teams makes this more gooder. Right? Isn't that great? But it isn't only that. They also get the grit effect, essentially. So they take reduced damage from percentile health effects. So things like thermal detonators and damage over times now do next to no damage. And that is actually quite nice. They also gain 10% bonus protection for two turns for each of Omega's Relic Amplifier levels. So mine, mine is Relic level 9, okay? So they're gaining 90% bonus protection. And bonus protection is calculated based on your max health. So the fact that they've lost all their protection and they've gained you know, up to 90% max health, they're going to gain an extra up to 90% bonus protection on top of that based on their max health. Isn't that kind of crazy? But the crazy, crazy thing about this is this last part here. Whenever Omega uses her basic ability, she deals damage again for each other Bad Batch ally, dealing 50% less damage. And that is actually insane. Before we begin, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Marvel Strike Force. Marvel Strike Force is a squad-based RPG that throws you directly into the heart of the Marvel Universe. Assemble your dream team of Marvel heroes and villains and take on iconic enemies. There are limitless team combinations and strategies for you to uncover as you develop your roster. Being a member of the tribe has always had its benefits, but now you can benefit even further. By using the link in the description down below or by scanning my QR code, you'll be able to get some free unlocks, including Agatha Harkness. Power up your squads to compete in multiple PvP and PvE game modes from campaigns to special events to alliance raids. And it won't take you that long to get started either, with new players being able to unlock up to 17 characters in their first month of playing. You know I'm a massive Spider-Verse fan, guys, so I was absolutely stoked to see all the Spider-Verse villains and heroes that you can unlock playing this game. Throughout the month of October, there is a free unlock for Agatha Harkness to celebrate the release of the Disney Plus show Agatha All Along. But that's not all. There are multiple different costumes that you can unlock, from Marvel movies to TV shows to comic books. This month also brings in Blade and his team of Night Stalkers to the game. I'm not going to leave you empty-handed though, Tribe. Make sure you use the promo code HALLOWEEN to get yourself 100 zombie Iron Man shards, 600,000 gold, and 480 level 2 training modules. Just make sure to use the download link in the description down below or scan my QR code and start playing now. So here's my public service announcement for all you people at home. This is Bracker Phase 2 and I decided to go in with my Bad Batch, didn't change any of their moddings and hit full auto. I thought with this Omega Omicron we are going to be clapping cheeks like nobody's business. And she is doing really good damage, but turns out maybe going full auto with this one on this particular phase is not such a great idea because as soon as you lose a unit you're just going to go down the potty. Now the good thing is, is I'm pretty confident that you could do this manually and be completely fine. 
thing. Just don't, like I said, put it on full auto because they'll do something silly like continually target the Imperial Probe Droid. And because these guys have got those revives coming, they're always coming back. But check out the damage that Omega's dealing over here. Her AoE damage with all that AoE true damage is actually doing really, really solid work. Unfortunately, like I said, they are... I mean, look at look at all these damage instances. I mean, it's only 11,000, 11,000, 11,000, 10,000, 11,000, 9,000. But, you know, she can't crit him at the minute. So she will normally crit. Let's see. Oh, that was actually a really good hit. Did you see that one there? It was like 45,000. 38,000 there on a basic high single target damage. An extra 14,000 there. Look at all that healing we get from Omega. Absolutely insane. Aren't you so glad that you've got a Relic 9 Omega applying this Omicron? 8,922. She's a monster. What else have we got? Come on, Omega. Let's see you pack a punch. Let's do this, honey. Come on. Not you, Hunter. You're stealing the show a little bit here. Clapping cheeks. Oh, yes, look at all that damage. Look at all that damage. Oh, no, Omega, and she's gone. Needless to say, needless to say that it, it, it didn't work out too well because now they've gone back to having their protection and we've lost our Omicron benefits and we've not even cleared the first wave yet. So, yeah, the rolling start, not so great. Let's see what happens in the next phase. So apologies for the aspect ratio. This one was actually recovered, uh, recorded on my phone. This is actually a mixed sector. And I decided after the first time, we're going to play this manually. And you can see what a good guild member I am because there's actually 18 minutes left on the clock, which means TB phase is about to end. Sorry, guildies. I apologize. Yeah, I was a bit busy. But the damage output is actually pretty good here. Seeing as though we can actually crit. Look at that. We've gotten 20k, 24k, 23k, 23k, 22k. Not too bad starting down damage she double tapped then as well that's not too bad at all so i was like oh, okay so maybe there is some damage here maybe there is a little bit of hope for this team this omicron to do some actual work and make it um, perhaps even just moderately useful holy moly that's a lot of damage and the additional aoe true damage coming off there do you see that first tick of damage that was actually quite surprising it was absolutely slack if you ask me so here we go Gonna clear up this first wave now. It's just the Stormtrooper with all that extra defense. He's gonna be a tough cookie to crack. And we'll go into wave two and we'll see, can we actually get a two for two here? I'm pretty confident. He's got the defense up. So obviously it's reduction in damage, but still surprisingly good amount of damage output, I have to say. So two out of two here. This is with all the operations completed, of course, guys. Start off with the standard behavior. Just dispel all those buffs. Hopefully get a nice big stun out. Obviously, you want to be doing that basic with Omega, not her specials, because the basic is where she gets so much of that damage out. All right, come on. Let's see. Omega is going to assist on the special. Boom. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Each hit there did 50k. Let's try again. Look at that. 49k, 49k, 46k, 47k. That's a 200k basic. And there must be another instance of damage there that's getting clipped off the screen. And then she attacked again. So we're thinking about 300,000 damage there on that one at attack. Look at it again. Big, big damage numbers coming out of her. Boom. Already insta-killed the leader. And those guys are normally incredibly tanky. And there we have it. Big, big damage once again coming through. Big, big damage once again. And every time we use the special, she's assisting. And because we've got that defense up, we're also doing AoE true damage. Surprisingly good. So this one actually restored my faith just a little. Oh my god, that damage. That damage is huge. This one restored my faith just a little bit in the Omega Omicron. But the real test comes down to Zepho. There is a bonus special mission on the bonus planet of Zepho where you can unlock additional rewards, essentially. You have to use clone troopers. I thought, if I can save my Captain Rex and I can just take him full Bad Batch there and maybe win without too many issues, maybe this TB Omicron is worth it. Let's see how that went. So, Zepho special mission against the big Merkel troop tomb guards, El Elrond tomb guards, and the other tomb guard guy. Can't remember all their names. Um, normally, you have to try and stack up all those specials, right? Try to get yourself all the benefits from the triple special. Turns out, though, with Omega here, you... D you don't need them because she just absolutely flipping destroys this entire squad in seconds. L look at the amount of damage output that we're getting already. That's 66,000 true damage up at the top with also another five stacks of about 20k damage a piece. That's not too shabby. So we're like, okay, we killed one before we got out the first done. Oh my lord, we've nearly killed another tomb. Normally these guys are so tanky. Boom. Another big shot of damage there. Boom. Another big shot of damage there. Oh wait, are you alive? <laughs> not for much longer. That first wave got completed faster than I could think. It was just like, holy moly, that is actually incredibly powerful. 
the second wave then and I'm just like, okay, I could probably just full auto this. She's got defense up there and the damage has been reset. So maybe second wave is a bit harder. Normally I would just full auto this with my sort of Rex, Rex, Rex 5 setup over here. But I thought I might as well ma try and manually play it to at least try to keep uh, Omega alive. Doing a little bit of that AoE goodness. I put out the second use of that and bam, big hits coming in once again. Let's get those assists going. Every special caller in as well. Booyah! There we go. 96,000 true damage from that expose. 35,000 damage times 5, basically. That's not too bad at all. And an additional 1 tap for 50k there. Boom. Dead. Absolutely destroyed. Decimated. Rolled out like an absolute piece of sushi. And looking rather delicious, I might say. Looking Look at that. It's just... It, it, it's... When they said single target damage, this is what we were expecting. This is that high single fire damage that we were expecting from Omega. I want to see these numbers actually in game. Could you? People would actually relic nine the o Omega if she could actually do stuff like this. You know, we're talking what five times 40, forty odd thousand a piece, two hundred thousand plus, and a twenty three thousand true damage there. That's not bad for an assisted basic. Not bad for an assisted basic at all. And that's going to about cover it for Omega Omi. So has my opinion changed? Do I still hate TB Omicrons? Am I going to do them again in future? No! No, I'm not going to do them again in future. Don't be silly. Unless I'm literally forced to, I will not be applying TB Omicrons. However, they are kind of fun. Have you got any TB Omicrons? Let me know in the comment section down below. Big, big love, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the very next video. Peace out, and may the force be with you.